in the middle of nowhere, different middle of nowhere, just somewhere. And of course, if you have your hoops with you, you can always be in the middle of somewhere. So I'm going to show you guys, <clears throat> mostly because I'm afraid of throwing the hoops off the edge of this uh, 500 foot cliff. I'm going to keep them on the torso. We're not going to do a lot of extra orbital stuff. Um, this is the two hoop split, okay? So you get them going, and then you bring bring them up, and then one goes up, and the other goes down. Okay, once you get it to here, then you just drop the arms, okay? <laughs> now you can go farther. Ah. Watch out for your hat. <laughs> and the duck out. All right. So what you're doing? for the two hoop split is there's two ways to do it. One, you bring it just to this rib right here. Woo! Look how white I am. Um, right here, you split it on that rib and one goes up and one goes down. Or you bring them both to the top and then drop one. Here's the first way. Split on the rib. Right there. Split. See? Okay. Or get them synced before you go. If they're asynchronous, get them synced. And by the way, to do that, async them, you hit to get them out of sync so it looks like a flower. As they come around, you hit the lower one with your hip bone that way or opposite way if the hoops are going and that will slow that bottom one down like that and then to sink them back up you just kind of follow them and as they come around here what I'm doing is I'm absorbing the energy so that they all go the same speed again so <laughs> out of sync in sync. It's a really good exercise. Try to do it. It's kind of fun. <clears throat> Easy as pie. Uh, PI pie. Memorizing it to about 15 decibels. <laughs> decimals. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's that's number one. It's over there. All right. Why we do this in front of a good view so you don't have to look at me. <laughs> Alright, there. So that's splitting on the on the rib. Or bring two up and then drop one. So both up here, and then I 